Hey, what's going on, YouTube world? Here we are in an abandoned Burger King. This has been abandoned for at least five or six years. Why did it close? Nobody really knows. One day it was open, the next day it closed. The rumors I heard, they had a lack of business. Another rumor I heard, the, heard that the health department closed them down. I do not know. But here's some of the, there was one of the signless signs. But even after all this time, they still got that sign right there. I figured, well, I'm in the area walking around on this hot 90 degree Saturday morning. I figured, well, let's go check it out. You got one lonely little bench out here. You can definitely tell it's an older style Burger King. You can see where the pizza pan is right there, where it would have said Burger King. Even after all this time, they still have all the tables and chairs in there. You can definitely tell this is an older style Burger King. And they still got the key TV in there, the soda machines. It's really not in bad condition in there. And like I said in the beginning, nobody really knows why this place closed. And look at this, the spatula handles. You know, it's funny that they still have the Burger King signed by the door, by the road, but yet they tore out the menu board. That's where your restrooms would have been right there. There's the blue. There was a good look at your parking lot. The lonely little street lamp right there. Look at the stacks right there. And while we're at, let's go ahead and take a look at the front of it. They got that padlocked. You can't even get over there. That's funny, they got that padlocked, but look at the gate. <laughs> Let's walk around. Let's go through the drive through see what we see. There's the other street lamp. There's their storage area. Watch your head, eight foot six clearance. Here's your menu boards. They've been all stripped out. I, I assume they already took out the speaker. Where would you, yeah, you would have spoke somewhere in this area, but right here's where you would have talked into the speaker to order your food. Take a look at the back of the restaurant.
that one's got a bird nest or something inside. Look at all that hay in the corner, or grass. There's a wasp's nest right there, so when we get really too close. Like I said, I, nobody really knows why this one closed. One day it was open, I remember, because I was staying at the motel, not even a half a block down from here. And one day I come in here and got coffee, because they were having coffee for the for 50 cents a piece. And the next day I went to come, come, go, come get coffee and they were closed. There was no signs or no nothing. There's a good look inside. Burger King. There would have been their hours. This one though must have gotten busted out. They've covered that window. Now well, here's a look at this side of the building. I believe, if I remember right, this is painted gray, but I, I think this was a blue roof. This is one of the few blue roofs. It's an older Burger King, definitely. Well, we can't go through there and look through them windows. We'll look through these, see what we can see. Now, I was gonna film the Shoney's that was abandoned up the road, but somewhere along the last five years, they tore it down. Now, the signs are still up, but the building itself has been torn down. You can still see all the booths and stuff in there. and left everything behind. And they didn't do a very good job stripping it. Here's the other side of your Burger King sign. The thing is, you're going along the interstate and you see that sign, you're gonna think this is open. But let's closer inspection it's definitely been closed right there it would have said Burger King right up front like I said this is an older Burger King it is for sale and it is for lease or lease I really don't want to go in here there's too many people out here you never know when somebody might say something This is, like I said, this has been sitting here abandoned for five or six years. One day they were open and the next day they were closed and no real explanation was ever given. Give you another look at the parking lot. So from this closed up tight Closed up tighter than a Possum's Pecker Burger King that's been closed for five or six years. On to us till my next abandoned place. Catch you guys next time. Bye bye.